guys, uh, I am here with my wig video and I know that probably because I don't really post often, nobody really sees my videos anymore, but I said I was going to do it and I've been wanting to do it myself just because there are some companies I, I would just 100% not recommend anybody buy from and I want to make sure that anybody that does watch my videos does know to stay away from these companies and I'll give you the reasons why as I go along. This video is going to be quite long because I've got this wig and I have got all these, all these to review. <laughs> and that's not even all of them. One of them didn't come along with it. So I have not brushed the wigs yet. Um, the thing is, is that I don't own a single styrofoam head. I really need to get one, but I just haven't had the money and without a head it's very hard to keep the wigs looking good and looking fresh um, this is what I use for my wigs so I got this off of Amazon I'll put the link in the description below this is just a conditioner and a detangler but it works like magic I I haven't used it. I'm trying not to use it because I don't have a whole lot and you know Part of the reason I don't really make too many videos is I'm just unmotivated, I'm depressed. Um, nothing in my life has changed yet for the better anyway, and we still don't have work or unemployment or anything, and it's just after months and months and months of having no way to fend for ourselves, it's just really kind of getting to us. Um, I do have a drug test on Monday, and Josh has one on Thursday, so fingers crossed we will, fingers crossed, fingers crossed we'll finally have jobs that we've been applying everywhere and it's just so hard at the moment um, I don't know I don't want to get into it but that's why I haven't really been posting I'm just not motivated to get up put makeup on get dressed sit in front of a camera and do anything um, so you can see like this week for instance I have not I have not brushed it's it, it's not good um, see this it's gonna make a liar out of me <laughs> Nope, not a liar. Look at how it detangles and it makes it just look really, really nice. I mean, obviously you would take more time and you'd section it off, but again, I don't have, uh, I don't have a wig head, so I have to like hold it against my knee or hold it up like this. But even a couple of sprays, look at, look at the, the change and where I have just sprayed it down and combed it. I mean, I didn't do down here, obviously, but I mean, look at the difference. So it's not set up right. That's why you could see the net. I will review this wig as well, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly the spray that I use and how awesome it is. It works so well to revitalize and freshen up your wigs and just make them look really good. I have not done anything to this wig either. Like I said, I wig review video or not, I don't really want to waste a little bit of spray that I have on a video where I'm just going to put it on and take it off and not wear the wig again for a little while. It is just really, really hot here and I, I, I can't see going out with a wig on at the moment. Um, my real hair right now, I've actually cut it all off again. My real hair is about to right here, whereas it was, it was to my waist. It had grown all the way out and it was beautiful. It was a little damaged from bleach, but not like it was before. And I cut it to here, to where the uh, like the thickest, thickest part was. And I've got all my bangs are red, and then it's like got, I've got like red sideburns and like red streaks in it. Um, but you know, red used to be my color, but over the past few years, I really kind of got into green, partially maybe because of Billie Eilish, because I I'm a huge Billie Eilish fan, and I started like green 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 because of her but then I start wearing green wigs and I just really like the way it looks I really like the way green looks on my skin tone my skin color and I don't really feel at home in red as much anymore so I'm trying currently there's all the red I'm trying to get it out and like just kind of I'm not bleaching it but I'm trying to use um like head and shoulders and things to just strip it out naturally because I'm not going to bleach my hair again and when it's light enough I'm probably going to go back to green if I can because I just really really miss it. So before I get started I just also wanted to say um, that 
these contacts that I'm wearing, if you can see, they are half, like half kind of brown and half green. Um, these are from Dr. Lee, and I do have actually two separate contact lens reviews coming up. That's like my thing now. It's something I can do that I enjoy. It gives me reason to dress up. It lets me try different, not really looks, but kind of looks because, you know, different eye colors change your appearance. You know, with my normal eyes, I just feel like I look very dull and just bleh. And with lighter eyes, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. It's a fun, simple dress up thing I can do. And I can review these lenses for people. So I've got like six, seven or eight, I think seven pairs of the New York lenses. So those are the New York blue, you know, you might've seen them. They're very vibrant and they've got the tiny, tiny pupil hole. And then I've got a couple from, I've got five pairs from, um, Dr. Lee, uh, oh God, I forgot what it's called. Um, DTLI official. Cause it comes looking like this. So it comes saying Dr. Lee, but the site is called DTLI official. And, um, so I've got like five pairs to review for them. And last time I'd mentioned the shipping took a really long time. This time I made sure to order only from the U S warehouse and they came lightning fast. Like they came within two or three days and I was shocked by how quickly they came. So you just have to be very careful when you order, make sure if you want them quickly to order from the U S warehouse. Um, but those videos will be coming up. I just really wanted to get the wig video in first. So I have the list written down on where I got the wigs from and what the wig names are. So I forgot to grab it before I made the video. It's just really hot and I wanted to get this out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little note here and in the description what the wig is called and what the website is. I'll mention it here if I remember, but for 90% of them, I don't remember off the top of my head. This one here though is from Diosa Wigs, D-I-O-S-A, D-I-O-S-A, yeah. And they're a new company that I found. I don't know if they're new, but I stumbled across them earlier in the year and their wigs are so, so cheaply priced. Um, this one here was like $20 and this is my favorite wig. Um, it does have a very plasticky feel. It doesn't feel anything like real hair at all. Um, people in person think it's my real hair, which is awesome, but they usually do anyway, but it has a very kind of just a very thick feel to it. Like you would imagine this would glow in the dark because you know, certain fabrics or hair that, you know, wigs that glow in the dark, the costume wigs, they have a different feel from the silky hair, like plastic feel of other wigs. So this one does feel very fake. It doesn't have an over overly fake shine to it. So it doesn't actually look all that shiny. It comes slightly wavy and you can kind of see it, not hugely, but you can see that it's actually multi shades of green. So it's not just all green. It fades green into a lighter green, but throughout the wig itself, as you can see, there are lots of different shades of green all mixed together here. And the wig itself is very thick. You cannot see the wig cap easily. So I can go like this and it takes a while before you even hit the cap. And to me, that's really good. So, you know, it's, it's way down in there and the way the hair falls, it covers it really well. Um, I'm not great at putting on wigs. So my wig cap that I have to hold my hair back, is like all wonky, it's all up in there. If you know how to style wigs, I'm sure you could style it to look a lot better than what I have. This is uh, this is an older wig. I actually have two of the same wig here that I have not worn yet, so it would look a lot better, but I didn't want to wear it for the video and mess it up. So I figured it, it doesn't really hurt anything to show this one. This one is still in pretty good condition considering I've worn it a lot. And again, I don't have a single styrofoam head to store it on, so it just kind of goes wrapped up in a bag. Um, but I love this wig so much. This is my all time absolute favorite wig. I just love the color. I love the thickness, the heaviness. I love the density and I especially love the price. Shipping takes a little while. It's foreign, you know, it takes a while to get here, but not overly long to where you forget you ordered it. It's just about maybe two to three weeks, I'd say. Um, so allow for that, but 
I mean, for $20, you can't really beat this. All right, this is an embarrassment, and only because I messed it up. So <laughs> this one is another one from Diosa Wigs, and on online it looked great. It was like the most beautiful, coolest wig. This is actually the first one I wanted, not the other one, but I screwed it up. I don't know where my straightener is, and that's why I haven't been able to fix the bangs, because again, since I don't have a head to store it on, they just kind of get wrapped up, and the bangs have kind of munched up. But this one does not come with bangs. I cut the bangs, and when I can straighten it and they're all together, it looks, you know, it looks like this. It doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty good, but since it was stored and it's stored and it separated, it looks really stupid. So I'm just gonna do this for this video. Now this one is more hair-like. It is a lot softer and easier to move around, brush your fingers through. I, since I don't really like the bangs, I don't use this one at all. So this one is probably in one of the worst conditions out of all the wigs that I have. But the colors are so pretty because in the front of this one, you've got the red and the yellow, different shades of red and yellow. As you move around to the back, it's almost like half and half. It starts to turn into like a turquoise, blue, green. You get over here and you've got your purple and your blue in the front, but then in the very back, you've got a little bit more turquoise and green. So it actually looks, it's got like pinks and stuff too, see? Um, it actually is a rainbow wig, but the focus in the front is red and yellow and purple and blue. So I thought that was really unique and really cool. And I was super stoked for this. Did not register the fact it didn't have bangs. And when I got it, the way that this is, is just, it's like, it's kind of like this and it looks so bad. It was so flat and just separated. It just, it's not even on right. It just looks so horrible. I, I put it away and I was like, there's no way I can wear that. It doesn't even look remotely real. And because I can't style a wig, I didn't know what to do. And um, when I cut the bangs though, and I flat ironed them down, it fixed it and it looks really good. And I wore it a couple of times, so something like that. I wore it a couple of times, but I just, I felt very unsure, I guess, and I just kind of really love the green one, so I wore the green one more. But if you know how to fix up wigs or you're fine with, you know, this, it's not a lace front, it was just split, then this is a good wig. I mean, it's it's also about $20. It's not expensive. And the colors, the colors are really pretty and really unique. And it, it's thick as well. It's got great density. For the price there's absolutely nothing you know really wrong with this wig except for the front part which i completely munched up for this video but i really wanted to show you the colors like the actual colors of the wig and that's why i included it <laughs> all right if any of you guys follow me on facebook <laughs> josh is over there playing if any of you guys follow me on facebook um, and you've seen any of my christmas photos um, you might recognize this wig here and I wasn't originally happy with this one at all. I'm still kind of iffy. Uh, I don't know how it looks on camera, but in person, this is more of a tame coral color. But in the pictures, this was very like vibrant blood, bright red. And I thought, oh my God, that would be so cool to have a wig that looks like it was dipped in blood. But in person it just didn't look like that so it was really disappointing for me to see and to get this this also had a really ugly hairline to it um, it did not have bangs I cut the bangs but it was like this but it was in such a way that it overhung your face if that makes sense um, like you could not literally you literally could not wear this wig out in public unless you had a beanie or a hat on to hold the sides back away from your eyes. It was a really awkward, gross design. And be, me being someone who cannot style wigs, aside from just straightening them, I only wore it with uh, a Santa hat to kind of hide that away from my eyes. And then I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna try to cut bangs because I don't like having my forehead showing. <clears throat> and if I don't do something with the wig, I'm never gonna wanna wear the wig. So I might as well just try. So I cut bangs flat ironed it straight down and I think it looks pretty good you know I think it almost looks like it could be my real hair like it looks pretty natural it's thick not hugely thick but it is pretty thick I mean it doesn't really look 
too much like a wig. You know, you can, it doesn't have any clips inside or anything. It's just like a, a cute little interesting looking wig that I don't really have on right. Uh, but it's enough to show you guys what it looks like. And it's uh, it's got a medium length to it. It's not too heavy. It's actually really nice. And I like it about a billion times better now that I put bangs on it. Um, again, I'm just going to apologize ahead of time for not really having them looking their best in this video. But that's because, one, I suck at styling. Two, I don't have a lot of product left to waste on making them look pristine. Three, I don't have a head to put them on to style them or to keep them looking fresh. And four, it is like 90 degrees in here. I don't really have any airflow. Um, I've got an air conditioning unit back there, but it doesn't have an outlet. So it's blowing into the room as our only source of air at the moment. And basically it's like a sauna or a heater in here. So I just want to get this done as soon as possible. There's no way save waiting for winter to have it cool enough to do this video where I have to wear wigs, which make me really hot and overheated. So I, I want to do this to share this with you guys. Um, and I'm doing it to the best of my ability, which isn't very good, but it is good enough for you guys to see what the wig looks like on about the price range, where it's from, what it's called. Um, this one here, uh, I don't know where it's from or what it's called, but again, I should have already put the name of it at the start of this clip. And, um, I just want, yeah, I just want to share it the best I could and uh, hopefully it's good enough for the three people that will be watching this. I, I've just spent like five minutes messing with this one and there is nothing that I can do to save it. Uh, this is one of my original wigs. When I first started buying high quality, good wigs, expensive wigs, this was one of my first. And I'm, I do remember this is from Trendy Wigs and this is probably the wig that has gone south the fastest because since this is my first wig I took great care of it I washed it in wig wig shampoo I conditioned it with wig conditioner I brushed it gently I did everything I was supposed to do and it's just like a it like it's clean right now because I haven't worn it since I last washed it but it feels gunky like it's so tangled and I have done, I've looked online for ways to get wigs looking refreshed and new and straight and nothing I have done, because I've done a lot, has helped this wig look good again. This now looks like a costume wig you'd buy on Wish and this thing cost me probably close to $100. So I would not, I mean, I guess I could recommend it because when it's new, it is a great wig. This was like my favorite at the time. Um, it's called Forest, and on camera it looks more emerald than it does in real life. In real life, it's a dull, kind of drab, olive -y color. It looks very olive. Um, it does not look shiny and emerald like I'm seeing in the camera. But um, it's, it's kind of thick. It's got the bangs on it that are down here where you can cut them however you need them. It was a great wig, and I pretty much only keep it now for the memories. Uh, I used to take all my pictures in this wig. I loved this wig so much. And the only reason I haven't gotten another one, like when I had the money, is because of how fast it went. It went bad. I just think, you know, like this other wig that I have here that I'm going to show you, you guys, anybody that's followed me for a long time will remember this one. I love this wig so much. I'd go out in it, and I would get so much attention my dumbass decided to go swimming in it. So I went swimming in this wig and I spent the day, the entire day at an amusement park in the water with bleach. And this still looks like it's in better condition than this one, which I treated like gold. So I'm gonna try this one on now for you, give you some more background information on it. This one is so thick and the streaks on it are so nice. I'll comb it out a little bit and pop it on and let you see, but um, this one here, big disappointment. Look at that. It's, it looks like I just threw it in the trash and picked it up again after the cats slept on it, and I haven't done anything of the sort. Such a disappointment. All right, this was also one of my very first wigs ever. And this one is super damaged from, again, like I just said, going swimming at the Mesa Park all day long. It's just, um, for a while, 
actually still, but not as bad anymore. My hair was, when it was shorter, it was really, 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 really thin to where I'd go like this and all you see is scalp. Um, I've got PCOS and I've got bad, I guess, uh, like my vitamin levels and stuff are bad after having my surgery and my hair is just never grown out thick again. Although looking at pictures of myself when I was in my 20s, I could actually see my scalp more. I just, I was never aware of it back then and now I'm like uber aware of it. So I... I'm very, very careful, and I didn't want to go to an amusement park and have my scalp showing in the bright sunlight, so I decided to wear a wig. And um, I have cut some of the damaged, more damaged ends off of it, but it is still really damaged. It's kind of poofy. I mean, this wig, wig is supposed to be a bit poofy, but now I just feel like it looks way too big, so I don't wear it anymore. I don't have it glued on, but this one does have two clips here and a clip in the back, which is great. It makes it feel super super secure even though this is not glued on it is not going anywhere <laughs> um this is from uni wigs and i would give them five stars for this because this wig was amazing this it should be because this cost me about 150 dollars it was modeled after some actual girl's real hairstyle they made a wig out of it which is so cool um it was my favorite wig of all time and i bought a second one that i boxed up and then i bought later on a third one but the thing is, is that by the time I bought the third one, they changed the manufacturer, so they say. And the new wigs did not look like this. It, it was called the same and it cost the same, but it doesn't have all these streaks in it, even though the picture looks the same. It's got probably a streak about this thin or thinner, and another one probably about this thinner, thinner on the side. And that's it. The rest is just blue. And I thought that was a huge ripoff because you can see, like, what I like to do, because it comes in two streaks here normally and but there's a lot of it so I always pull it up and I spread it out kind of for that like Sweeney Todd look and I I put it like that and to me that looks more natural and then this here I would just like before it was so poofy I just let it flow behind me and when you spread out the white it gives it contrast it looks more interesting and appealing and it looks more realistic this blue is a very beautiful royal blue and then it's got, you know, lighter shades of blue and then it's got like the white on it. And all together, this was the one wig to get. If you could only ever buy one wig in your life, this is the wig to get. Even though it's a lace front and I hate not having bangs or something to cover my forehead, the fact that it had this detail on it made it worth it. And I wore this wig to death until I swam in it. But I think it's really crap that a company can change their distributor or their manufacturer or whatever and change the quality of the wigs to where it's a shadow of itself it's so thin it's it's like it's like it's not even the same wig because not only is it super thin but the colors aren't even set up the same and they are charging the same i hate that this is the second time it's happened the other one it happened with my half red half black one which i'll get into as well i still have a pile of wigs to go through but um that's why i i don't recommend uni wigs because you never know if you're gonna get the good version or the not good version, and they're not gonna tell you, they're just gonna make excuses. Um, but when this wig was in its prime, this was like, this was the shit. This was the best wig ever. So when I bought the third one and I noticed how crappy it was, I asked them for something similar because they told me that I could get a refund or an exchange, and I didn't want a refund because I wanted a wig. So the only other thing on the website that even remotely resembled it was a pink one. They suggested it to me. They said, it's got this, I guess, I don't know what this is called, ombre look, where it's got the, the dark top. They said that this wig was the closest thing they had to this one because it's a pink version. It's got dark roots. It's got some white in it, some lighter pink at the front. I'll comb this out and try this on next. And uh, I'm not a pink person, but there was nothing else that appealed to me. The colors are beautiful on it. I cannot stand the dark roots, because to me it looks like you just got lazy and you forgot to touch up your hair. I never saw the appeal in these wigs or these hairstyles with the dark roots going into color, because it just looks lazy to me. Um, if you're gonna color your hair, you'd think that you'd want the color to hit your roots and not be like, oh, I've got my roots still showing, but hey, there's color. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But, um, this color's not me. Uh, I tried it on for photos the day I got it. I just took some 
crappy little nothing photos and I never touched it again and it only looks like that because I know where to store it but let me get this off and get that on and I will show you the next best thing to this wig which it's nowhere even near the ballpark all right so this is the replacement I got again pink is not my color this is a lace front and um, you know I wore it the one time for photos it looks pretty realistic like the the lace on it the part looks really good it really does um, I just I just personally don't like the color I, if I was a pink person I would like this wig there's nothing wrong with it it's the right amount of thickness it's not too heavy and it's not too light you can't easily see the lace on it um, it has very interesting colors it's got you know like the white and the light 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 pink streaks on it which makes it more appealing than just one solid color in person this is uh, again it's kind of a salmon color it's not hot pink it's it's a salmony kind of pink if that makes sense um, definitely different than it looks on the camera but uh, I just don't like the dark roots and again I don't think pink is quite my color um, this also has the two, it's got the two clips here and here, the combs to hold it into your hair. I mean, uh, all in all, I mean, the wig is pretty. I just also don't like my forehead sticking out. I don't know if I've got like an average forehead or an unnaturally big forehead, but I just don't like my forehead. So that's something, you know, you can see my, my real hair hiding under there, but, uh, I mean the wig itself no problem I just really don't like how they they can't they can't be consistent with the quality of the wigs that they have so you might get something and be like oh my god this is the most amazing wig ever you spend 150 200 dollars on it you get it again and it's like a knockoff wish version of the first wig you bought and they're like oh well we changed our manufacturers nothing we could do about it it's just because I'm a big bitch and I complain about stuff I spend money on that's the only reason I get replacements for things that aren't what they're supposed to be. And I do that with everything and I do it because, you know, money is hard to come by and if I'm spending money on something I want to get what I pay for. I don't expect more than what I pay for. I'm not unreasonable, but especially if I know how it's supposed to be and it's not like that anymore. And it's kind of like false advertising, you know, or if you order food and you pay for extras and they don't give you extras on you better believe I'm gonna complain about it because I paid for it you know I want to get what I pay for and if I don't then I'm gonna say something about it and that's how I got this I don't know it's okay on camera in person I don't I don't really like it <laughs> all right this was one of my favorite wigs even though it's one got a lace front no bangs and two has got the dark roots so I feel a little bit of hypocrite for what I just said but this wig when I first got it it was before I realized what kind of wigs I prefer and at the time I don't have it on right because it needs to be you know angled and glued down and I, I don't want to glue it obviously for for obvious reasons I don't want to glue this on at the moment um, but I, I would wear it somehow so it was like this and it would kind of hide the crooked cutting that I did because I suck at cutting but I kind of liked it you know kind of over one eye or something like that. I'm not really sure how I had it at the time. Um, I don't really have the time because I'm really overheating to get this one brushed down right because uh, since I did love this wig and I, this was like my Walmart wig I wear it to Walmart all the time. All the little girls loved it probably because of the bright primary colors. Um, but since I wore it a lot, it is in rough shape. It's just old now. And this is another one I did try to get back to healthy, but I think it's kind of at the end of its life. Um, it's been washed. All these wigs have been washed and just kind of stored because it's too hot right now for me to wear any of them. Um, so they're all clean. They just don't look clean. But this one was pretty because this has all kinds of bright colors even though I'm not really a bright bright color kind of person for some reason I was experimenting with all kinds of rainbow wigs I'm not really sure what my kick was back when I first started getting wigs I just thought they were all pretty and I didn't really think about the fact that rainbow is not really my style I just kind of wanted everything that had 
the blended colors and looked cool. So I don't know. <laughs> um, I got this one and I really liked it. I thought it fit well. It was comfortable. It was easy to put on. A dab of glue here. It has no combs on it. So, you know, it, it doesn't stay very well. But it was unique and the way it was blended together and especially with this when this is put on right looked like real hair and I really enjoyed this wig when it was in its heyday which it is long past now. <laughs> this wig was a disappointment all around. Um, this wig was just crap. Uh, I've worn it in maybe one photo shoot I think and that was just because of the length because this is probably the longest and heaviest wig out of all of them that I bought. So as you can see, like this goes all the way down to like my waist and it's got very pretty rainbow colors. It's got some, it's got some styrofoam in it because it's been over in the corner, but it's got some really pretty rainbow colors in it. Not nearly as vibrant as the pictures. Um, this wig was really expensive. It's really long. It's really, really thick. It's really heavy. Amazing quality, but uh, yeah, it's got two combs right here, none in the back, which you kind of need for a wig of this, this weight. Um, and this, I mean, this isn't even all of it. I've got more hair back here. Like I've got another wig's worth of hair back here. So this, this wig has got tons of hair to it but um, in the pictures the wig was more rainbow colored you know it, it had more like red and blue and purple and those bright colors in the front it didn't say anything that the colors may vary maybe I'm just an idiot and I should have assumed that the colors may vary because it's a rainbow wig, but I thought that it would pretty much be the same. And the I look, I always look at customer photos before I buy a wig. I don't just go by the website because you can't. They'll style the wig and make it look as as best as possible. But I want to see what it looks like on normal people. And one thing I always look for is uh, if it's like a lace front wig, you'll notice that a lot of sites the people will have beanies on or hats on. And what I want to see is what the lace front looks like. I don't want to see what it looks like under a hat. So, oops, there's my hair. <laughs> uh, some of it. But um, I don't want to see that. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see how natural it looks. And um, to me, that's a warning sign. If, if they can't show you the lace front of a lace front wig, that means stay away, in my opinion. But this one, I mean, everything seemed great. Uh, I cut the bangs, though I tried to cut them, that's why they're back here. I, I, I messed this wig up myself on accident, just trying to make it look better. I wanted to bring out some of these colors that were hidden by this color. There was a lot of this color, not a lot of any other color, and I complained, I wrote, and I said, well, this, this doesn't look anything like the picture, and they're like, well, colors may vary, and I was like, how come all the other customers have it with like the bright colors in the front, and I happened to get one with like all the dull I mean, this is like a gray blue and this is like a, they're like pastel ugly colors in the front and all the vibrant, beautiful colors are in the back where I can't see them. I wanted it reversed and not one picture that I saw was this setup. Not one single picture in all the pictures. And this is a very, very popular wig. So I was not happy with that, but they wouldn't do anything. And so I just kept it and uh, I think took like one set maybe with it. And that's about it. And I mean, the lace front, looks really good. I mean, I, I don't have it cut all the way up um, and I don't have it glued. I've never glued this down, which is why it's still so clear because I haven't worn it, you know, to glue it or to make it, you know, presentable for outdoors outside in real life. But I mean, even from a distance, it looks pretty good. It's just, I was just really disappointed by the color setup because that's not what they presented online and that's not what their customers presented online and that's not what I was after. I don't like pastels. I don't like muted colors. And to me, this was a, a huge waste and not what I was after when I wanted a rainbow wig. So that's why I went on to buy those other ones. And since I already had it and tried it on, took the tag off, they wouldn't take a return. And I didn't feel like fighting with them because I was already fighting with the other company about the other wig. And I just, I was just like, you know, I'll just took it away. This thing cost me almost $200. Here is another disappointment. So I get these wigs so you don't have to. This wig was supposed to be 
red and black. And I don't know if you can see the color very well. It's also really munched up because even though I'm not happy with it, I did wear it all the time until I got something better. So the colors get mixed up really easily in this one. It's There's the part and it would take so long to get it over where it needs to be again. And I've tried and I cannot do it, so I gave up. This is a very long, not very long, this is a long, very pretty wig, but this is not red. This is like a copper, copper brown color. This is a, I guess, I guess it is red, but it's like a natural redhead red, as opposed to a splat hair dye or manic panic red. This is, this, you know, hair color somebody could have in nature. Um, it looks kind of brown, it looks kind of reddish, it looks mostly copper. It's dull, is what it is. It's, this is the next one I'm gonna try on compared. This is red. So this is like the Manic Panic Red. This is a color red. I had my hair dyed. Had have my hair dyed. And you can see the difference. So this is red. This is copper. And I was really disappointed with the color of this one. When I got it, I was like, man, it's labeled as red and black, but it's not really red and black. I do like the bangs. Big fan of bangs. The bangs on this one I think are really pretty. I, I actually really, really love these bangs, but um, yeah, the color wasn't all there. The, there's nothing wrong with the wig itself. I mean, it's it's thick enough, it's nice enough, it's long enough, it sheds a lot. Um, love the bangs, don't really like the color too much, but it's doable. I mean, it's not a waste of money if you get it. It's just, if you're expecting red, you're not gonna find it with this. So this is my third to the last wig, and this is the one that made me decide to dye my hair half and half red. Because I got this wig, and I loved the color so much, and I love the way it looked so much. It re-reminded me of my love for red hair, and I did it. I did half and half, and I loved it. Like, I was super, super stoked, but my hair is actually growing too fast now and I found that my roots would grow out constantly and the upkeep on just trying to re-bleach my roots and re-dye it, re-bleach it, re-dye it was too much and so that's why I decided to go for just my bangs red and then some streaks, you know, something more under that I could, I could still keep color but not have to worry about a whole half and half having to be re-dyed every two, three weeks because um, that was getting to be a bit much and you know, I don't have time for that. And uh, of course, every time I sweat, which it's really hot right now, I would just have my whole face stained red and it was just, it was just too much. So, but this makes me miss the half and half. I, I pretty much regretted getting rid of it as soon as I got rid of it, but I knew it was just getting out of hand. I needed too much. My hair was growing too fast. And even now, I mean, my roots are growing out again, but um, luckily I'm trying to get rid of the color and go to probably green again just because I miss green but now with this wig on I miss the red again I don't know that's why they make wigs because I don't I can't make up my mind this is from a company that when I first got this wig I completely uh, recommended them I was like god you guys this is a great company you should get wigs from them they're so great blah 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 and they ended up being bad they ended up being just like um, uni wigs and when I reordered this wig again they sent me one that was super thin super shiny and the part was huge and it had chunks missing off of it uh, I will show you here so the quality of the wigs was awful and I contacted them and I said you know what this wig I mean it's missing chunks out of the out of the part it's really thin it I think it looked used like it looked pre-cut oh no that was another wig sorry I'll get to that in a minute but it, it just it didn't look used it, it was just missing a lot so you can see the part on this looks pretty good it looks pretty natural right I, I think so anyway I love this wig I love the part of it this was like my perfect my next perfect wig and this is the one I wore second most after the blue one 
and they they refused to work with me and I know Donna Love Hair it's Donna Love Hair I know Donna Love Hair works with a lot of people they give away free wigs all the time you're telling me that they couldn't look at this wig and see that it was messed up which they even told me it was messed up they said oh it's a we changed our manufacturer or distributor and you know they're all different blah 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 and you know I said well it's I can't wear this I've got bald spots on the top of my head I'm trying to avoid that not buy a wig that's got like bald streaks in it and um, they just acted like it was putting them out to replace the wig for me and I had to fight and fight and fight and threaten to expose them and make a video about how bad their customer service was before they even spoke to me about it so then um, they told me to return the wig and they were trying to get me they their offer to fix this was to give me eight dollars off of my next purchase the wigs like 50 bucks what's eight dollars gonna do I don't want to have eight dollars off of another wig I want a replacement for the wig that I bought that is really cheap thin and is missing chunks of hair on it um, finally after almost another month of fighting with them they finally agreed if I pay $15 for shipping they will send me a replacement wig so I paid that $15 and guess what I never got the wig I had to open a dispute with PayPal in order for them to even speak to me they said that even though I paid for the new wig they weren't gonna give it to me until I canceled the dispute I said I'm not gonna cancel the dispute because if I do that you're not gonna send me the replacement jokes on me because they didn't send it to me anyway so I would stay far 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 away from Donna Love Hair because they have more than proven that they do not care about their customers they cannot spare one measly wig with photographic proof even after I returned it even after I paid shipping for a new one they they still wouldn't work with me and now I'm out a wig and I'm out the money and I hate them and uh, I, I, I wouldn't recommend them to anybody the first wig I got was awesome I actually had ordered uh, four or five wigs from them so I ordered this one which I'm gonna try on next and uh, actually I ordered that one I'll try that on last no I'll try it on next sorry um, I ordered this one from them even though it's in the Zarissa wigs bag this is from Donna Love Hair I just stored it this is how I store my wigs because I don't have any other place to store them um, this is so thin and so horribly made um, I ordered one for a friend of mine which they haven't actually used it yet so I don't even know what quality that is and I ordered this one and I ordered a replacement so I've ordered like four times from them and only one time has the wig been good that I know of could have been two times but I don't think the other one judging by these I don't think it would have been good one, two, three, four. no I've ordered five times and only one time is has it been verified uh, to be a good wig so with customer service like that I mean they can they can give wigs to their influencers but they can't help out one of their customers who had ordered from them multiple times and who paid just because I didn't cancel the dispute if they had nothing to hide and they were you know a respectable company they wouldn't care if the dispute was there because I told them I said I'll cancel it as long as I know you're sending me the wig I paid for and they're like no we're not gonna send it until you cancel it and I was like I'm not doing that and now um, I want to give an honorable mention since I kind of mentioned it I have to double check with myself but I think it's trendy wigs who also screwed me like that I think I think I think but I'll double check I had ordered you might have seen it in like one or two pictures probably one photo set before I returned it it was a half and half wig it was half white and half black and it was a curly wig the only curly wig I've ever ever used ever tried on that wig came to me and it had actual chunks cut out of it it was a used wig that was returned cut up missing hair and they said oh it shouldn't have been returned it should have been destroyed and I said okay well I have it you know I have it here and I want a replacement
But uh, even though I showed them proof, I wanted their word that they were going to destroy the wig so that somebody else didn't get a used wig. They didn't like that. I forgot exactly what happened with them, but I think in the end it took me threatening again in order to get a refund and they said that they didn't want to sell to me anymore so I wasn't allowed to order from them anymore because I called them out on a used wig that they gave me that was never destroyed that they did not want to replace they did not want to refund me for they didn't want to do anything for even though I showed them look this has been cut it has been used it has been returned it's disgusting um, so I would not give them money either so let me just go ahead and finish off with these last two wigs and I will show you the other crappy quality from um, Donna Love Hair to stay away from. All right, second to the last. This is also Donna Love Hair. Um, this one should have been great. I wore this exactly one time. Uh, it has no clips or anything in it. My warning was that there was only one picture on the site, not one single review. No um, the wig itself is interesting. It's got blues and purples mixed together. So that is absolutely beautiful. The end of it has got a turquoise, kind of like a sky blue slash turquoise into it, which is also really beautiful. It's like mermaid hair, you know, and it's a long wig, you know, it goes down past my waist. The thing with this is it is so thin it's not usable out in public if you want anybody to think it's not a wig. You can just move it just a little bit. And it looks like I'm moving it a lot, but I can already feel, I can feel the, the netting, like the cap. It's probably one of the thinnest wigs I own. And in the back, you can see the wig cap. You can see the wig cap all over. I don't know if that's going to show up because I can't see, but you can see the wig cap. I have a black cap over my actual hair, so that might be stopping you from seeing it as clearly, but um, yeah, it's like the thinnest wig ever. And this wig is so expensive to be this thin. I mean, it's good for photos. I, I can wear it for photos in the house. I don't really think purple is my color either, which is another reason I don't wear it, but it's so thin. Like, you could buy something off Wish, probably, for this price, you could buy like three wigs. I don't know, it's not even on their website anymore, so they must have had complaints or this just wasn't a good seller because it's so thin, and they took it down. Last but not least is this one that you guys will know from like one of my last, most recent videos. And this is also Donna Love Hair. And now I can fully go into what I don't like about this wig. So let me just start off by saying if I could choose any hair color to have permanently, permanently, it would be this. White into blue. I think blue and white together are beautiful. I love the setup of this wig. I think the colors are probably the prettiest I have ever seen on a wig. Out of every single wig I own I just I don't know there's something about it I saw it on Instagram some girl was wearing this and she didn't of course even though she's an influencer she didn't list where she got her wigs and stuff from and I asked on almost every single picture and she didn't answer which I don't know if I was the brand that Donna Love Hair that is giving out free wigs to people you know instead of paying customers that needed a replacement I would want my influencers who get these free wigs to mention where they got the wigs from. But no, she did not, and she did not even answer. So I scoured all through her pictures until finally in one photo I found it listed, and that's how I found it was Donald Love Hair. And she had it styled all kinds of ways. She had it up, down, whatever, and it looks so cool. And I was like, I must have that hair. This is the closest one to the blue and white that I love so much. Um, did not come with bangs. I mean, or did it? I don't remember. I don't think it came with bangs. I think I cut bangs in it. Last time, as you remember, the bangs were really wonky. Now they've kind of settled into another version of wonky. It, it would just take a little bit of 
messing with to get it better and I just I've got fans on I'm burning up I don't have time for that right now what I don't like about this wig is I thought this was because my hair was really long last time I made the video but my hair is very short right now it's you know like I said to my armpits I don't have a lot of hair there it's not my hair it's the wig this wig is tiny it is small and I don't have a huge head I, I might be fat on the rest of my body on my face but my head is not big this is where the wig is so I don't even have it pulled down it's got clips in it which are clipped in up here but let me just show you this this is where the wig is it's right here and it's up here uh, I can't get it on the loosest thing I can't get it to cover all my hair so I can't even tuck I can't tuck my bun into it I can't ugh, without ripping my hair I can't get it to fit my whole head and now it wants to pop off the top because I tucked it in the bottom so let me release the bottom so it doesn't pop off the top so last time I didn't have it attached at the bottom either I just kind of had it sitting on top of my head and I wear you know crowns and I wear you know ears and things to kind of hold the wigs down um, or to put it on this line where the bangs start so that's usually why I wear headbands a lot um, but I just wanted to show you guys you know not only that but this wig is also very thin there's the net there's the wig cap right there I mean, you can see it easier on this one because it's lighter the wig cap is right there and this wig was one of the more expensive ones as well and the cap is so visible she had her hair up in a ponytail I don't know how the hell she did it because this this is too thin you can't do that without something showing um, this this wig like the other one are two of the thinnest wigs I've ever had I've ever used and I'm not gonna give up on this wig though I'm gonna try my best to do something with it because I like looking at it right now I'm looking at it and the colors I'm just gonna tuck that, tuck that little guy in there the colors are so beautiful I don't want to give up on it but um I just wouldn't recommend this company and it's just no good um, and if you think I'm being hard on these companies at all just remember that all the wigs I've shown you today they are in the 50 to 60 to 150 to 60 dollar range so if you're paying that much money for a wig which to me is a lot of money um, you want to get a good wig you want to get one that fits good that is thick enough it doesn't have to be really really thick like a thousand dollar wig but at least thick enough so that you don't see the wig cap every time you shake your head you know um, something that doesn't shed every time you move or brush it because my wigs a lot of the Donna Love hair ones you just touch it and they shed huge amounts I mean they shed way more than they should I've kind of uh, I haven't even brushed these wigs out fully for this video like I said that's just from touching the wig just a little bit I haven't brushed it out fully I've only did like a very basic brush just to get the wispies down and I've already come up with this ball here which is really gross um, I know it's not real hair but it's just loose hair grosses me out but anyway I'm not trying to be overly hard on a lot of these companies but the ones especially that can willy-nilly give wigs away to influencers for free but they can't take care of their own customers I think that's awful because these influencers I mean a lot of them are spoiled brats not not all of them but there are there are some I've seen that are like I'm an influencer I, I expect to get things for free and they just act like they're entitled to everything they don't really have any brand loyalty they just do it for the freebies some of them do care but some of them don't but the customers that are buying from these companies they care because I mean they're spending their money there they're they're spending their hard-earned money by choice um, on your website or these companies website as opposed to somebody else's website and if there's a problem with the order it 
you would think it was your obligation to take care of your customers because word of mouth is a bitch. Reviews nowadays are a bitch. You want people to come back. You want them to know you care about them as a customer and you want them to come back. You don't want people to feel the way that these two companies have made me feel like, oh well, you know, so you bought wigs from us where you leave, somebody else will be here. Um, because that's, that's not right. That's not the way to do business. That's not the way to have returning customers or a bigger fan base because people talk, people make reviews, people make videos. That's a very risky maneuver in my opinion to shit all over a customer that way. And it wasn't like I was lying or making it up because I showed pictures. I showed videos. I was open with them the whole time. I even paid shipping for another wig. They wouldn't do anything for me. And you know, with the one that was, that came to me cut up, they didn't do anything for me, even though I showed them proof as well. And these companies, all they're doing is showing me that I'm just a number to them. They really don't care if I come or go or who I bring or take with me. And if they don't care if they're losing money in business, then why should anybody want to give them money or business? If you're paying that much money for something, you want it to look like what they're advertising it as. I mean, this isn't a hamburger, this is a wig. And yeah, while it might be styled differently in customer photos, the colors and the basic design of the wig should not be different. Style is not the same as color. And if you show a wig that is blue and pink and purple, you want a wig that's blue and pink and purple, not a wig that is orange and pastel. And you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's maybe I'm too picky nowadays but I just think that companies nowadays are assholes for the most part and they just really don't care and where wigs are concerned they are a lot more expensive nowadays than like cosmetic you know like Halloween contacts or whatnot and so you know I I will review contacts and I will give my honest opinion but if they're not good they're not good I mean the ones I've been reviewing lately they're like twenty dollars I mean if you lose twenty dollars it's not it's not the end of the world but if you're losing like almost two hundred dollars on something that doesn't look anything like what you're promised I mean that's that's pretty awful to me and I, I wouldn't want that and I wouldn't want anybody that follows me to waste their money on a company that doesn't really care about them to be completely honest so that's about all I have to say there um, I hope this was informative and uh, I don't know who might agree or disagree but yeah I don't know. So far, the only company really worth buying from is Diosa Wigs. And uh, while the half and half rainbow one ended up looking really ugly, I did that. I cut it. I messed it up. The wigs aren't the best quality. They're not, you know, like this, this is good quality. It's just thin, really thin and really small. It's still not even all the way on my head. It's, it's up here. This is the bottom of it. <laughs> but, um, they're, they're not the best quality. I mean, yeah, they're not the best quality, but they're affordable for what the quality is. You know, so it's balanced. You know, you're paying $20, you're getting a $20 wig, maybe between $20 and $50 if you think about it. The wigs are good quality, they are nice. And I mean, my favorite wig of all time that I have right now that I can actually wear happens to be from them. So they are a really good brand and if any, I would recommend them. They do have lace fronts. They do have other price ranges. They have more expensive wigs. I just didn't know what to expect, so I started cheap. And the one I really wanted happened to be cheap anyway, so it worked out in the end. Um, this wig here, I'm hoping to do something with and make it wearable outdoors because I really love the colors of this one. And I had such high hopes for this. But that company... I would not give, and I, I've heard a lot of people love Donna Love Hair, so I'm probably one of the only ones that says I don't, but in my experiences with them, they just don't deserve, they don't care about you, they don't deserve your money, so save it. That's all for now, and I will see you guys with, I will have two back-to-back -back contact lens reviews coming up, and I will see you when I upload this.